four in the morning. <sighs> Good morning. I know it sounds kind of weird, but the little clip that I played at the start of this video is called a video poem. And today I'm gonna make another one. Don't worry, I'll explain. Who here hates making Instagram reels? Yeah, I thought so. And it's like, it's not like inherently like a horrible thing to have to do, but it just, it just kind of feels a bit like shouting into the void, you know? You know, you have to constantly chase after the latest trends and the like trending audio. And like every post kind of has to just basically be entirely engagement bait or it just doesn't get any views. Previously, I kind of always felt like making like a real connection and providing real value to the person watching the video is like basically impossible in 60 seconds. And and then something crazy happened. So I saw Valandis' video where he talks about lighting, but at the start he has this kind of like pre-roll clip. And and I, you know, that kind of like wormed its way into the back of my brain and I was like, hmm, that's kind of cool. I wonder what I can use that for in my brain. Uh, and then I saw this tweet and um, my brain exploded into three different galaxies away. Of course you can make a connection with somebody in 30 seconds. That's what poetry does. I've been trying to write like a whole novel on one page of video paper word. I should have been trying to write poetry. One of the coolest things about poetry as an art form is that there are no rules or restrictions. There's not like you can do whatever you want and it's fine because it's poetry, right? Making long form content, whether that's novels or YouTube videos or movies, you have to think about like story structure and filmmaking rules. And on top of all of that stuff to think about, you also have to think about the algorithm thing and like creating curiosity gaps and hooks and content loops that hook your viewer in and keep them watching. And I feel like making video poems, it's just like such a completely different experience to making any other sort of video. Like you just have full creative license to be free and make whatever you want, however you want. And I think the really powerful thing about thinking of short form as video poetry is that previously, I think a lot of us, like I can speak for myself here, but I think a lot of creators viewed short form content as a way to advertise for their long form content instead of like another artistic outlet. And when you start to think about like, I'm not making stuff to drive people anywhere, I'm making it for me and this is just like a handy way to do it. It just gives you another artistic tool. So, so poetry throws all of the rules out the window and you can write it in whatever format you want and you can make words up if you want to, right? But, but video poetry is even better than that because like, let's be honest, when's the last time you read a poem? And that's not because we don't love poems, right? Because we do love poems. It's just that there's not a very efficient delivery method for written poetry. Because with like long form text, like a novel, for example, or like in the video sense, a film, you go to the library, you get the book out, you read it over the course of a week. But with, with poems, like poems are much shorter than a novel. And so you can't really get like a poem from the library unless it's Dante's Inferno. You have to kind of get like an anthology of poetry or a collection or like the complete works of and while that's good it i feel like it kind of diminishes the individual poem's value a little bit and so like with all of this in mind you realize that youtube is a library for long form video and instagram reels could be a library for. See where I'm going with this? With the power of Instagram, you can literally like, in an afternoon, on your phone, make a video poem, and then share it with thousands of people all around the world, straight away. And like, that, that's, that, that's like borderline impossible to do with written poetry on the same scale. I'm getting a little excited. The reason I got up at 0400 hours today is because I have a video poem in mind. I wanted to make something about Warsaw, like, you know, I've lived here for three or four months now and I really like it and it sort of has a specific way that it makes me feel. And so I was thinking like, that would be such a cool thing to do with a video poem, is try to capture the way that Warsaw makes me feel. Uh, and so like with all mediocre art, I started by getting inspired, uh, which is 
artists speak for stealing other people's ideas. You know uh, this trend, you might have seen this trend on short form. That got my brain like properly. Okay, cool. So then I saw this. And so then I was like, this is great. I can make a poem about like the city and the morning and I'll call it Good Morning Warsaw. So what's my plan? Like in terms of actual video production? Well, I'm gonna shoot it on this. Uh, this is my DJI Osmo Action 4. Mostly just because it's literally the only camera I have that can do 4K. But it also shoots 10-bit log, which is important because I'm planning to color grade the absolute pants off of it. I feel like color grading is like the video poetry equivalent of picking a font, maybe? It's also quite handy for making short form content because it has like a native vertical mode where it will record in a vertical format and like it's very easy to sort of, you know? Hey, listen, um, it's a little trade secret between us. If you want to get inspired to do cool shit um, and see some of my work that no one else gets to see and get some cool discounts and stuff like that, you should sign up to my email list. There's a link in the thing. Also, fun fact about the email list is that you can actually email me as well. So like we can chat, which I think is really cool. Like that's the main reason I set one up is because I want to hear from you. If there's one thing I've learned from this, it's that coming up with a way that allows you to create that isn't for the algorithm or for any sort of results and is literally just for fun is like the most important and freeing thing I've ever done with a weekend. I, you, I, sure, this is a little pretentious, right? It's poetry, it's poetry. I just, I personally, I think you should get your camera and you should try and make a poem about your cat or doing the dishes or something and just have fun with it. Like the whole the reason we got into all of this is because it's meant to be fun, right? Like it's fun to film stuff and make it look cool and tell little stories. And I think we just get, we get so bogged down with like, oh, but it's not high retention enough and I need to please my algorithm overlords. You don't have to like overcomplicate this either. Like I'm not setting up an Arri Alexa and like eight by 10 grids and stuff to film anything ever right now because I don't have the budget. I mean, I totally would get a grip truck. Like I'm literally, I film everything on my Nikon DSLR from 2013 and I have one light, a tiny little panel light. This is not about gear or showing off your technical skills. I, I can color grade from scratch, for a lot of the stuff, I just stick Dehancer on it, to be honest. It just, it, I can just pick a film profile and make it work. And I think like the, the really compelling thing about making short form is that you can do it in an hour. Like you can literally just go, I'm gonna make a video about these dead flowers sitting on my kitchen table from Valentine's Day. And then like, that's done. Like you can film it and edit it and post it in one go and then it's done and you don't have to like go back into the project. Oh my God, how about going back into old project files where you've moved stuff, uh, uh. right? It's just like, it's compartmentalized creativity, ready to go. Thank you very much for watching. I really mean that like from the bottom of my heart, you've listened to me talk about like this weird video poetry idea that I've been obsessed with since I saw that tweet. Um, and that means a lot, please make some video poems and then send them to me on Instagram. I'd really like that, at Hunt Creates Things. As always, thank you for watching, stay hydrated and create art. Hey, did I mention that you can, uh, you can book an hour of my time now, if you want? Like we can just, we can have a chat about whatever. I mean, you should probably use it to get some sort of insight as to how you can create more or better or make more money uh, with filmmaking and photography. But if you do just wanna book an hour of my time to talk about Neon Genesis Evangelion, fine.